Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is my 2000 BMW 328i, and today I'll show you how to bleed the brake fluid. Brake fluid easily absorbs moisture from the air, which lowers the boiling point of the fluid and diminishes braking performance, so it's usually recommended to replace the brake fluid every two to three years. I'm bleeding the brakes on this car because I had just finished rebuilding the brake calipers, so check out that video too, and I think you'll see why you shouldn't buy remanufactured brake calipers. You'll need a helper to pump the brakes if you don't have a brake fluid bleeder tool, but it's a really simple job either way, so let's get to it. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Impact wrench, torque wrench, 17 mm socket, 9 mm wrench, a floor jack, and two jack stands. For this job I also needed a light, a stool, a fluid catch pan, a helper to pump the brake pedal for me, waterproof grease, rubber gloves, safety glasses, silicone hose with quarter inch diameter, and one bottle of DOT4 brake fluid. There are links in the description for everything I used. The brakes need to be bled in this order, starting with the caliper furthest from the brake fluid reservoir. I'll start this job by jacking up the rear of the car and putting it on jack stands, but if you don't have an impact wrench, you'll want to break loose the wheel lugs first. Make sure to lift the rear of the car from here, not here. Open the brake fluid reservoir and make sure the fluid is topped off. Back at the caliper, remove the dust cap, put a 9mm box wrench on the bleed screw, and put your silicone hose on the bleed screw nipple with the other end in a container to catch the brake fluid. Now we're ready to bleed the line by following these steps. Build pressure by having your helper pump the brake pedal. Open the bleed screw just far enough to relieve the pressure. Close the bleed screw quickly. Release the brake pedal and repeat. Okay, here we go. By the way, you can now support the channel by purchasing this awesome design available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and in a bunch of different colors as well. Check for a link in the description below. Go back to the brake fluid reservoir every 5 cycles or so, and make sure the fluid is topped off so you don't suck any air into the lines. Continue bleeding the line until new fluid starts coming out. When you're done, remove the hose and wrench from the bleed screw, and don't forget to close the dust cap. If you had trouble getting the wheels off, brush off any rust or corrosion, and apply some grease or anti-seize to the surface of the rotor that contacts the wheel. Tighten the wheel lugs by hand as much as possible before lowering the car back onto the ground. They should be tightened in a crisscross pattern and torqued to 88.5 foot-pounds. Just do all this three more times and we're done. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and check out my other E46 videos before you go. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more of the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it.